Hello guys, welcome back to Simply Learn YouTube channel. I'm Shamli and in today's video, we will discuss Google AR Core, also known as Google Play Services, which is one of the leading software development kits or SDKs used to develop AR-based applications for both Android and cross-platform machines. So without any delay, let's get started. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos. Do enable the bell icon to never miss an update on any interesting topic. So, let's get started. Reality technology is the hot talk of the town. Today, developing apps or softwares plays a major role in providing reality experiences, which is possible by Software Development Kit, SDKs or Integrated Development Environment or IDEs. Google AR Core is one of the leading SDK for developing AR apps, which are simple, powerful, and handy in providing app development tools for both creators and developers. So, as a part of today's video, first we will be discussing what is AR Core and then fundamentals of AR Core. Then we will look into the applications followed by advantages and disadvantages of AR Core. And at the end, we will have a summarized conclusion. Before starting with the video, let's have a brief introduction of what is AR Core. So Google AR Core, also known as Google Play Services, is a software development kit by Google that allows developers to deliver augmented reality experiences via AR apps. In simple words, AR Core understands the environment around you, which helps to provide interactive results on available information. SDKs provide a native application programming interface or API with its essential features like motion tracking, environmental understanding, etc., which enables creating new AR experiences for the user. Now, APIs include, or I should say AR Core by Google is composed of different APIs that help to develop and apps irrespective of operating system they are of. So some common APIs include Android Studio. Android Studio is an integrated development environment or IDE which acts as a platform to build apps for Android phones, tablets, Android Wear, etc. Then comes Unity. So as we know, most of the trending and adventurous games come under the name of Unity. Unity is a cross-platform game engine which is used to develop video games and simulations. Next, we have Android NDK. NDK or Native Development Kit is a set of tools that allows programmers to use C and C++ code with Android, which provides pre-built libraries to manage native activities and access physical information of a system. And then we have Unreal Engine. Unlike Unity, Unreal Engine is a game engine by Epic Games where it was initially developed for PC shooter games. Now, let's understand the fundamentals of AR Core. Fundamentals of AR Core include, first, motion tracking. So, nowadays, motion tracking is quite common and a necessary feature in most products like fitness apps. It allows your device to understand and track its position in the real world environment for better search results. Next is environmental understanding. The basic function of developing an app is to implement it on a real world environment based on the factors of need and functionality. This process helps your device to detect the size and location of the surface you are on. And at last we have light estimation. Lighting is the key factor of creating realistic AR experiences. This lighting API analyzes the given images with its detailed information on lightings in a scene which helps to render virtual objects and interactions. So as we have discussed the key factors or fundamentals of AR Core, now let's move towards the applications of AR Core. Unlike AR and VR experiences, AR Core is applicable in all fields like in terms of entertainment and lifestyle, 
Filters are quite common nowadays and it's easily accessible via social media, which is possible only via AR effects. Virtual shopping. Online shopping is the current trend today. The use of AR in shopping enhances the feel and experience of the user to the next level by 360 degree and perspective that looks the same as the actual one. Next, we have education and training. So in recent days, online education and online training are quite popular due to the key factors of accessibility, which eliminates the need of essential resources. Design and modeling. For example, a CAD engineer uses AR to create a model of the physical objects as a hologram or 3D models to provide a real-time scenario of the simulated objects. Next, we have travel and tourism. AR provides accurate information in terms of distance, location, and available services in a particular destination or geographical area, making travel easier and more convenient. And then comes healthcare system, which is the most important. Medical practitioners and surgeons use AR for medical imaging, disease analysis, etc., making it easy to provide better and more accurate treatments, avoiding direct contact with patients or harmful diseases. So far, we have discussed AR core, its fundamentals, and its applications. Now let's discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of Google AR Core. To talk about is its advantages, AR Core is simple and works with common programming languages like Java and OpenGL. Whereas Java is a quite common and a popular programming language known by most of us. It supports other development engines and frameworks like Unreal, Unity, etc., which helps developers to develop AR apps irrespective of the platform they work on. AR Core needs no specific prerequisites, like it can be applied even on existing devices, which eliminates creating new apps for a particular device. And mainly, AR Core is a freeware and needs no licensing or payments. Now, moving towards its disadvantages, AR Core natively supports the Android system. Then, to use AR features, a minimum version of Android 7 is necessary. And third, we have commonly available features like body tracking is unavailable in AR Core. So, we have reached the end of this video module. In this video, we have discussed about what AR Core is, the fundamentals of AR Core, its applications, and its advantages and disadvantages. As the use of reality technology increases, it is important to develop AR and VR based apps, not only developing apps, but it is also important to manage these applications for a sustainable market stand and for an easy process, which avoids additional cost and human resources to develop new application for all needs. Now, this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. Thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.